I'm going to show you how to create a, a, a Paiute trap. This is a Paiute trap here, okay? It consists of an angle stick here, a support stick, a crossbar here, cordage, and a bait stick, all right? Um, this trap tends to be a little faster than a figure four trap, um, but it does take more components to, uh, in order to create it, that being the crossbar and the cordage. Okay, we're gonna make a uh, Paiute trap. The Paiute trap is a, uh, another relatively simple, easy to make uh, primitive trap that works. And um, uh, the problem is, is that um, unlike its sister trap, uh, the figure four trap, you need uh, a couple of extra components and to make the trigger mechanism work. But the thing with the tri Paiute trap is it tends to be a, a faster trap, although it takes a couple of more components to put it together. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to put it together for you. All right? So what you need is you need your support stick. Okay, and this one already has a wedge cut into it. And I, uh, I just got through making a figure four trap, and so really just make your wedge by by um, cutting in and <clears throat> scooping out, okay? So you end up having a wedge like so, all right? And then your, uh, your angle stick, uh, this one here, has a notch cut in, okay? And I go ahead and I just go ahead and I saw down, like so, and then I cut into my notch. Like this, okay, and then cut down further. And I want to make sure that the the lip is square and perpend and uh, at 90 degrees, okay. So essentially, this is going to be where the uh, fulcrum or the support stick this will rest, okay. So. The weight rests on this, which pulls, which a lot, but which pulls the end of the angle stick up. Okay. The next piece to the Paiute trap is um, cordage. Now I've got some. Uh, now I've got some velvet leaf that grows in my yard here, and um, uh, a couple of years ago it was a surprise to me because I thought it was coming up with something else, and end up finding out that it was a quote-unquote weed, um, and then finding out that. It was a useful weed, and um, the uh, the velvet leaf um, provides us with some natural cordage. So again, keeping this completely primitive, except for using snips and and a, uh, a stainless steel knife, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the fibers from the velvet leaf here to create the cordage. Okay, so again, the the velvet leaf has it has velvety broad leaves. They have velvet on the fifth. They have fine hairs on them to feel velvety and they have these crown like seed pods okay so uh, if you own property and you have land and you, 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 you have a garden or something you probably have this coming up and you probably can't stand it because it's a weed but know that uh, they that this makes a pretty decent uh, medium grade cordage um, once you once you harvest the fibers from it okay let's go ahead and break the end off smash the end so I can get at the fibers, basically the bark of this plant, with the stem here, okay? And I can go ahead and just lift off the fibers like this, okay? The bark is where the, the fibers are laying. So I'm going to go ahead and lift off this, lift off this piece here. So essentially, I'm just going to take my fibers here. Kind of beat them up a bit by rubbing them together. Just kind of break some of the shaft. I don't need a terribly thick piece, so I'm just going to start off, and I'm going to be doing a reverse twist. Okay, I've covered the reverse twist in some of uh, my other videos, and so I won't really explain too much now. But essentially, what I'm doing is I'm taking. I've got this this here. Um, pinched in my fingers with one on top, one on the other, and I'm twisting with my fingers this way towards the, towards you, and then using my hand to grab the one on the bottom and twisting 
towards me, okay? So then, again, now I have on the top, pull underneath, over the top, underneath, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just make some, some uh, stronger or some tight cordage. It'll just take me a second or two here. This is our cordage. This is the key piece to making the Paiute trap work, okay? So again, this is fairly fairly strong piece, and uh, it'll work for what we need need it to work for. Okay. Um, so essentially, what'll happen is the structure is very much the same as a figure four, and that the cordage is actually going to be the um, crossbar or the the, the the figure four part. Okay. So what we need to do next, all right? Once we have our cordage all set is what I like to do is I like to go ahead and in the end of the angle stick here I like to uh, go ahead and just kind of cut around you know just kind of roll it rotate it okay that's uh, one okay I like to cut around and then I'm gonna cut around um, parallel to it <clears throat> all the way around again just like so okay. and what I'm trying to do is I'm basically want to cut a groove in here you don't have to do this but you, what you don't want to run the risk is you don't want to run the risk of your uh, of your uh, cordage slipping because we're just basically making a groove to, to tie the cordage to okay and again depending on the weight of your deadfall uh, you may put enough stress on the cordage for it to actually slip off the end if you haven't secured it in some way uh, another way would be if this had a little little uh, nub of a uh, limb a branch limb on it that would uh, probably stop it or you could attach it to that okay like so okay so again it doesn't have to be neat but the idea is just so that you have a place for the uh, the string to catch hold to or you can tie your string to okay so there's a plethora of knots um, or loops that we can create here so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a simple uh, strangle knot so it can be nice and tight and it can go pretty quickly okay so I'm just gonna do an overhand knot go over twice okay and then I'm gonna make my my loop like so okay so then I'm just gonna slide it on to the end where my notch is where the, the notch is and I go ahead and pull it tight okay so that was a uh, that was a strangle knot okay. we've got our support piece and now we've got our cordage. Now what we want to do is we got to create the trigger mecha mechanism. Okay, so the the this, the the weight of the deadfall pulls on this. So we got to find a way for this to to um, catch. Okay, one way to do that, and I want to find right about where I'm going to be at, right about here. So I'm going to need about this much length of my cordage. Okay.